Welcome to Pitch Perfect with our hosts, Tyler and Megan. Hi, and welcome to Pitch Perfect. I will be one of your hosts, Tyler. And I'm Megan. And we're both students at the Center for Advanced Learning's Digital Media. Today, our Cal Junior class members will be presenting their pitches to the judges for their Youth Silent Film Festival. We're all hoping to receive positive feedback so we may improve on our pitches. And here is our very own teacher, Ms. Barb Myers, to explain the details. Uh, thank you, Megan and Tyler. Uh, the Northwest competition for the Youth Silent Film Festival takes place at the Hollywood Theater in Portland, Oregon, and it's every June. And it showcases 45 films from teenagers across the country, and it, they are silent films. If their films are selected, then they will uh, be aired at the Hollywood Theater along with live organ accompaniment. Uh, the winners of the festival um, are judged by celebrity jurors, including Gus Van Zandt, the president of Leica, um, and several other celebrity judges. The winners of the festival receive $1,000. So today, we're going to hear the concepts uh, from the digital media students to see who has a great idea. All right, and our first pitches are actually going to be Tyler and Megan. There you go. Do we start? Alrighty then. So we're going to be doing a horror-themed silent film for you. And so the logline is on his dead mother's birthday. Uh, the grieving son, Finn, brings his mother back from her grave only to find out that he's made a horrible mistake. Yes, yeah, so that's where we start off. And our setting for the movie, the short movie, will be um, in the, either we're going to start out in the man's house and then he's going to go to a cemetery. We already have a cemetery picked out in mind, so it's sort of a wooded cemetery and it's going to be kind of suspenseful and kind of a gloomy themed movie. And our characters. We only have like a couple, so it's just Finn, the main character, and then his dead mother, who's coming back. And um, would you like to tell the story? I would love to tell the story. Oh, so the story starts out um, in the afternoon, and it starts out in the fir one of the first shots that we have is of this man's calendar in his house. And on one of the days, it's going to say his mother's birthday. And he looks kind of gloomy, and so we don't really know what's going on yet, and we don't, haven't gotten the idea that he, she's actually dead. But as she walks, as um, Finn walks across the living room, we may see like a picture of her on the mantelpiece, and he's going to grab a book bag and, and with different things in it, and he's going to start walking to the cemetery. And as he walks to the cemetery, he's looking really gloomy and sad. And we start to realize, as the shot goes up towards the cemetery, we realize that she's actually dead. And so he's going to her grave on her birthday, and he's going to lay down flowers, but with the flowers, he's also going to lay down some books, maybe some candles, incense, and we realize that something's kind of going, something weird sort of going on, and he's going to start lighting them. And then right as um, things start getting going, and we realize that he's actually trying to bring her back, then the picture of her on the mantelpiece will fall, it'll crack, and then she'll pop out. We'll see, sounds wonderful, doesn't it? We'll see her undead body, and as the picture cracks, we're going to have these cool effects, and her skin's going to start cracking. It's going to be gruesome, but really cool. And she's going to stand there, and at first he wants his mother back because he misses her so much, and come to realize she's not the woman that he remembered, and she doesn't remember him. She's just going to stand there, and right as he goes to like touch her, she's going to jump out at him, and we think that she gets him. And then at the very last shot, we're going to have a hand pop out, and we're going to think that she got him, and then come to find out he actually had to send her back to the grave. Sad, but true. And we <laughs> believe our movie concept idea is solid because it's original and it's an easy-to-follow storyline. And we think it's ready to go into production because we already have props we want to use in mind, how we're going to set up everything, the places we want to film, and a lot of good filming ideas. And we have, we already have, I was halfway wanting to bring you guys pictures, but we have pictures of even makeup ideas and sets we want to use, things of that sort. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I would actually like to introduce our celebrity judges. You can stay there on the pitch podium. Um, and they're going to give feedback, OK? Um, our first judge we have is Carol Egan from the Center for Advanced Learning. Say hello, Carol. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
And we next we have Martin Vavra from Galaxy Sailor Productions. Welcome, Martin. Hello. And next we have John Lugton from Metro East Community Media. Hi there. <clears throat> okay. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to the judges to give you some feedback on your story. Okay, I'll go first. Um, I think that the horror line is really good. Um, I was intrigued for uh, and how easy it was to follow your description. Each scene I could visualize. Um, so I think it was a really good, simplistic story that could be told within three minutes. Um, I was a little bit, one, I wondered about if there was any kind of way in which there was a foreboding of how Finn and the audience would know that he's trying to bring mom back. So mm -hmm. I was curious about that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I, and then I think for, uh, if I was to think of something that, for you to think about, um, what is the, the setting as far as lighting goes? Mm -hmm. I was curious about that. Um, moving from inside to outside, so is there a foreboding piece that would occur there too? So, there's my feedback. <laughs> Um, I, for the most part, I liked your pitch. I think the horror idea is a good one and going with the raising the mom from the dead. I think the one thing that you should really watch out for is that this is a very easy one to visually, in your mind, realize what you want. And I think it would be very, very easy for you to lose the context of the story because ultimately you do have to tell a story in three minutes. And if you kind of dismiss the beginning and dismiss the end, and then you get really caught up in this whole middle part of mayhem ensues with a mom who's a zombie that, you know, and then she goes back and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so try to have a story. You know, your character will have to show longing and need for a mom and then obviously not gaining that and having to make a decision. Oh, very good comments there. I like the, uh, I like the horror theme it is that, uh, is the classic silent movie going back to the likes of uh, Nosferatu. So maybe that's <laughs> something you could, uh, could check out in the very early stages. Yeah, I think I kind of, uh, I like the idea. Um, I just began, the opening sounded really solid, but then I began to get a little kind of sidetracked as mm -hmm. to how you were going to be transitioning silently to this major uh, kind of piece where the, the mother comes back to life. And is she a zombie or is it just somebody coming out of the grave? All that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in a three minute movie, I think you might spend a lot more time doing makeup on the uh, <laughs> rising from the dead than actually that happening. So I would agree, like trying to emotionally convey what's going on could be a really key piece of what you need to do. But mm -hmm. I, I actually really like the idea. I think it's not only like pulling on the really old uh, silent movie style, but also doing something that's kind of really modern and contemporary. Well, as modern and contemporary as zombies can be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your input, judges. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thank you, judges. And now we shall be moving on to Morgan and Malia.